let's uh, welcome. Let's come to, let's start standing up. So we'll start standing up. You can come to the front of your mat. Take a deep breath in and out. You can open your mouth and sigh if you want. And another deep breath in, just in through your nose, filling up the lungs. And open your mouth and sigh it out. Let's inhale and reach both arms up and look up. And exhale, just lower the arms, big snowflake circle style. Snowflake, snow angle. <laughs> Clasp your hands behind your back and stretch. Inhale, lift that chest. As you exhale, bend your knees. Bend over bent knees and stretch your shoulders. Lift those arms up if you can. Relax your head and neck. Release the clasp of your hands. Bring your fingertips to the floor. My knees are bent. We're just going to kind of bend one knee a little more than the other. And then bend the other knee a little more than the other. So like I'm never even straightening my legs. I'm just kind of sinking into one hip a little and then the other. And then come back to center. Let's roll up to standing. Letting your arms just sort of dangle here. Roll all the way up to standing. Lifting your head up last. And then inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Bring your fingertips to the floor if you can. Inhale and look up halfway. Exhale back down. Inhale and stand up all the way. And exhale, arms by your side. All right. Inhale and reach both arms up. This time, exhale to the right, little side stretch. Inhale to lift yourself back up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, reach back up. And exhale, forward bend. Inhale to look up halfway. This time, exhale and step your right foot back. So we're in a low lunge. You're sending your left knee forward, but not in front of your ankle. Just, just here. And then you're lifting the back leg up away from the floor. Make it nice and straight. Keep your right hand down. Take your left arm out to the side and up, simple twist. Good. Lower that hand and we're going to step the right foot right back up. Inhale and look up halfway. Exhale down. Inhale, stand up all the way, reach your arms up. Exhale, arms by your side. Inhale, reach both arms up. And then this time, side stretch to the left. Exhale. Inhale, reach back up. And exhale to the right. Inhale, reach back up. And exhale, forward bend. Fingertips all the way to the floor. Inhale to look up halfway. Exhale back down and step your left foot back. Big step back, lifting that back thigh up away from the ground. Keep your left fingertips down now and take your right arm up and twist. Take a couple of breaths. I'm gonna put my clock back up. Couple of breaths. And then lower that right hand. Step the left foot forward. Inhale, look up halfway, and exhale, forward bend. Inhale, stand up all the way, and exhale, lower your arms. Clasp your hands behind your back again, and inhale, lift your chest. Good. We're going to bend the knees.
knees, but stay upright. So bending the knees, rolling the shoulders back. Now release the clasp of your hands and inhale to chair pose. Good. Exhale to forward bend, straighten the legs. Inhale to look up halfway. Exhale, step your right foot back. Good. Lower that back knee and inhale to reach your arms up. My shirt. Reach your arms up. Exhale, touch down and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale to pull yourself forward to plank. And we're going to take knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Then inhale, scooching forward, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. And down dog, just relax your head and neck. Arms are strong. Don't worry about your legs if they're all the way straight or not. Now on an inhale, pick up your right leg, reach it up behind you. And as you exhale, take a big step forward. Good. Lower the back knee and inhale to reach those arms up, little back bend. Exhale to step forward into the standing forward bend. Inhale to stand up all the way. And exhale to lower the arms. Clasp your hands behind your back. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, sit down. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Straighten your legs. Inhale, look up. Exhale, left foot back, big step. Lower that back knee. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, touch down and step back to downward dog. Inhale, glide your shoulders forward to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths. And inhale, lift your left leg up. As you exhale, take a big step forward. Now we lower the back knee and inhale, little back bend. Exhale to standing forward bend. Inhale to stand up all the way. Reach your arms up. And exhale, arms by your side. All right, I'm going to turn this way. All right. So now inhale to chair pose. Step back with your right leg. Good. High lunge. Spin your back heel down, warrior one. Take a breath in. And exhale to lower the arms. Clasp your hands behind your back. Stretch your chest up. Now exhale and bend forward. You can lay right down on over onto that leg, or you can angle yourself a little bit and take the left shoulder inside the left knee. Now release the clasp of your hands and take them out to the floor in the direction that you're facing. So basically over at like a two o'clock angle and push your hips back down dog lunge make sure your left knee is bent and your right leg is straight and you're pushing your hips back toward the long side of your mat good walk your hands back onto your mat pick up your back heel we're going to step right back forward. Inhale to look up halfway and exhale forward bend. Inhale, stand up all the way, reach your arms up and exhale, arms down. Good. Bend your knees, inhale, 
inhale to chair pose. We're going to step back with the left leg this time. High lunge. Then put that left heel on the ground. Warrior one, look up. Take a breath. As you exhale, circle the arms down. Clasp behind your back again. Last time this stretch. Inhale, shoulders back, chest up. And exhale to bend forward, either coming right onto that front leg or taking your shoulder inside the front knee. Relax your head and neck either way. Now, release the clasp of your hands, place them off your mat at a diagonal. So you're now reaching to like 10 o'clock, pushing the floor away, hips back toward the long side of your mat. Down dog with the arms and lunge with the legs. Walk your hands back onto your mat. Pick up your back heel. We're going to step forward again. All the way up to standing forward bend. Inhale to look up halfway. Exhale down. Inhale to stand up all the way. Reach your arms up. Exhale. Arms by your side. Good. We're going to, let's lower. We're going to come all the way down into a little square. Squat. So a little toe stand squat. We're at the front of the mat. So you're going to, your feet can be either all the way together, they can be a little bit apart, but you're going to separate your knees wide. Yeah. Take your elbows inside your knees. You can press out gently with your elbows, palms together, and then you're squeezing back in with your knees. So there's tension, there's energy between the elbows and the inner knees. Lift your chest. Good. Take a few breaths. All right, so now we're going to bring those fingertips to the floor. We're going to start to straighten the legs into a standing forward bend one more time. So lifting your hips up. Coming into the forward bend. Good. Then we're going to bend the right knee. So we did this at the beginning with kind of both knees bent, where we kind of swiveled. Now we have right knee bent, left leg as straight as you can. Keeping the right fingertips down, take the left arm out to the side and then reach it up. Good, lower that hand and switch sides. Bend your left knee, straighten your right leg as much as you can. Take your right arm out to the side Twist your body to reach that arm up toward the ceiling. Maybe it's at a diagonal. Maybe it comes all the way up. It just depends on how much you twist. And then lower that right hand. Come back to a neutral position with both legs the same amount, bent or straight. Now we're going to bend the knees again. Coming all the way down and then shifting onto your bottom. <laughs> shifting onto your bottom. Good. So my feet are on the floor, about hip distance apart. I'm going to hold on to the back of my uh, thighs, just behind the knees. Rock back a little bit. Lift up one leg. Lift up the other leg. Hold your knees, or if you want, you can try to let go and work your core a little bit, boat pose. Good. Keep holding your legs or not. Then we'll come down just the way we came, feet on the ground. Lift up. Good. Now take 
take your arms out in front of you and keeping your feet on the floor, we're gonna roll back all the way down onto your back. So rolling down, try to keep your feet on the floor up, they wanna lift up, and then come all the way down onto your back. Good. Extend your left leg down to the floor and pick up your right knee. Interlace your fingers around the front of the knee and hug it in. So while you're hugging that right knee in, you feel the right thigh pressing into the right side of your abdomen. Left leg is extending. Good. Release that knee. Place your right foot on the floor. Pick up your left knee and hug it in. Extend your right leg down the length of your mat. Hugging that left knee in, compression on the left side, extension on the right. Good. Release the left knee, put the left foot on the floor. Pick up your right leg, put your right ankle on the left knee. We're going to, if this is enough, you can stay here. We're going for kind of a stretch around the outer right hip, but you may also feel stuff in the inner thigh. If this is not enough, you're going to pick up your left leg, interlace your fingers around the back of your left thigh, and just hug this figure four shape in as far as it goes for you. Take a few breaths. Now, release the left foot, put the left foot back on the floor. We're going to take this figure four shape with the legs and let it fall over to the left. Now, trying to keep your right shoulder on the ground. There's sort of, there's two things you can do here with your left hand. You can push the right leg away. And this feels really good to some people. And to some people, it feels like nothing at all. You can give it a try and see which kind of people you are. <clears throat> and then after pushing that leg away for a little while, try drawing the knee down, which means kind of pulling it closer, closer to the floor. release that leg. Lift figure four shape back up. You're on your back. Switch sides. Right foot to the floor. Left ankle on that right knee. Check in with yourself. See how you feel. If you want more stretch, you pick up that right leg. Interlace your fingers around maybe the back of the right thigh. Pull the whole figure four shape in. Place the right foot back on the floor. We'll take the arms out to either side, left and right. And then we're going to let this, the legs fall over to the right in this figure four shape. Try to keep your left shoulder on the ground and see if that left foot touches the ground. Now again, there's two things. So let's try this one first, taking it's sort of the heel of your right hand and just kind of pushing that left thigh away. It might feel fantastic. It might feel like nothing at all. <laughs> it just depends. Good. 
And now we'll do the other one. So you'll gently draw that left knee a little more towards you, toward the ground. And then release and gently come back to your back. Uncross the legs. Separate your feet a little bit wider than your hips and just let those knees windshield wiper tick tock. <laughs> Left and right. Which one is it? Windshield wiper or tick tock? Smashing the belly with both legs, both thighs. And then release, making your way into your comfortable position for Shavasana. So either separating your feet a little and letting the knees fall toward each other for constructive rest, or extend your legs one by one, separating the legs a little more than hip distance apart. Let your arms rest down by your sides. Figure out which position is right for you and then close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Deep, 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 deep breath in. And then open your mouth and let it all out with a big sigh. your jaw, your tongue, your throat. For the next couple of minutes, just allow yourself to sink back. Quieter and quieter, more and more relaxed. you know when it's time to move again.
to deepen your breath. into a little ball, roll onto your right side, and then press your hands into the floor, push yourself back up to seated. And bring your palms together in front of your heart. Taking one last deep breath in together breath we share. And exhale, bowing 